Welcome to our podcast, episode 30. 30 episodes, alright. Today, on my YouTube. So yeah, I'm finally going to be answering some questions on, like, in my YouTube. Like, one that I've already answered before, but um, I'll answer it again. So that's in this video, and at some point... Um, for my 250 special, I do want to have a Q&A. Maybe it would have happened by the point of this video coming out. I doubt that, but, uh, you never know what could happen. Weird things can happen. Um, but, um, yeah, um, for the 250 special, I want to do a Q&A. And yet again, if it's happened already, that's crazy. Um, you've beat my expectations, if that is the case, so well done. But, um, yeah. So, uh, first off is the name, Orange Puppet. Where did it come from? Well, it came from Xbox, literally, like, the random generate name from Xbox because it's like my Xbox username so yeah definitely uh my Xbox account has existed longer than my YouTube or like stuff possibly I don't know they probably would have all been made around the same time relatively but uh the thing is like when I actually started doing things which would be later than when I created them but um yeah um uh so Orange Pop is technically not my choice but is because you could like randomly generate it a few times and if you liked one you could choose that one to be yours so here we are with me being the orange puppet um and it's a name that i think will persist through time as long as i live <laughs> and continue to do this but uh Next is, um, my, like, profile image, which used to be, like, um, the guy from the original Deus Ex, um, um, JC Denton, due to that one meme on YouTube a long time ago where everyone was being, like, JC Denton, and I thought it'd be funny just to do it but not be like one of those annoying people spamming comments um, everywhere but I just thought it'd be funny to change into it like hey, I'm JC Denton but then eventually I changed to Dimentio or the Orange Dimentio which um, comes from an add-on thing in Gmod um, because I took a screenshot of Dimentio, the orange Dimentio and um, Gmod. And I, <coughs> excuse me, use that as uh, uh, my uh, profile image for YouTube. But also, there's a uh, the little thumbnail whatever one that appears in the corner of this video if you're watching on YouTube um, or live on Twitch which I do do these episodes usually live on Twitch um, it's my Twitch image my Twitch uh, profile picture being the pink spawn done by my good friend Kim so yeah um that was drawn during Christmas of like December of 
Twain Twain. So yeah. Um uh what else can I talk about? Oh yeah, banner, banner, banner. So my banner as I literally go to my YouTube. But um my banner on my YouTube oh, um is like it's got like Star Wars to the left, my Twitch image, then me the orange puppet, then the tag games and fun, which is just the most like generic tag I could have thought of like eh, games and fun that'll do. It has literally no relevance to me. This is not my like catchphrase. I've never been like, hey, I'm the orange puppet and welcome to games and fun. No, I've never been like that, except in that example right then, right now, during this podcast, that the, the, the catchphrase has literally like zero meaning except to that joke that I just did right now. Oh. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, um, it'll probably never have relevance. It'll just be there as a funny little thing. Then there's the SCP Foundation logo, because of course. And then Doom, because Doom! Um, yeah, um, and then there's something above that is unseen. And, um, right now, uh, um, Future me will um, insert the actual full uh, picture of that. Let me see where a full picture of me. Uh, it is not me. Uh, it. Um, all right. Um, I'll be showing it to the stream side, but for you. Um, watching later, whoever may be watching later, it will be um, an image in the video. But here, uh, the original, as you can see, stuff was cut out of it because uh, how YouTube does it. But above, there's a Bob Ross painting that was also thanks to my friend Kim positioning them in that throne which looks like a like gaming chair throne um, and the bottom image is from a exclusive video which is when Roger Zem to a fanboy Hooters which was a joke I did for my friends when uh, Rogers was uh, still uh, going on. But, um, yeah. Um, yeah. But, um, that's the reason behind, so, sort of, like, my banner, the, the stuff behind my banner, um, uh, uh, what else? Um, so yeah, oh yeah, now to talk about my song videos that have been recently coming out. So, um, let's start with one of the old ones, the uh, Michael anime opening, which is not a part of the current uh, ones that have been coming out. Um, that one was made on my birthday, or well, came out on my birthday, made before my birthday technically, but um, the anime opening one was supposed to be like a joke idea, but also like shows a lot of the important characters from my series. 
the rule of everything video would be my first dabbling in it so, um and uh during the video which um I'll have to mute due to copyright but I'll also be showing on my stream side but for you uh the video later you won't see it um but um you probably can just open another tab and find them but I'm the raw of everything Michael edition um video um um so it's the raw of everything song and it goes through the song during each thing during one point uh, it's like no wife found because Michael doesn't have a wife um um and uh a lot goes on during um the thing um um and it was mainly using the text thing uh, the text add-on from gmod but the next sort of main song thing there were some other things with songs within them more joke things like chaos insurgency dancing um deja vu i used deja vu over like a spinning rocket and me and michael are happy new year where i used the song me and michael but the next major thing would be uh the infinite hole god damn it <laughs> so at least it's muted but god damn it ads you won't be able to see this if you're watching the video technically video later it's just an audio thing for you later because it makes it easier for me to like export like audio with a still image which is why I did the podcast because when it's a podcast people don't usually expect visuals from a podcast but um, um yeah but um, you can find these videos in my channel anyway if you want to watch them yourself but the infinite whole song was like a improv song I did then there was um me doing um a meme song with it starts with one thing in the end it doesn't even matter you know that song um another joke song was like um prophet truth has spammed in um or the prophet has spammed in is a big shot where I just had the whole big shot song with an image of the prophet of truth as spammed in. Okay, now to one of the first relevant ones that at time of recording came out two weeks ago, which um is the Rogers is just a burning memory where I added like old timey effects and it was just burning memory here's a little bit of it that's enough um just to avoid copyright because it did get copyrighted um but yeah uh, it was just clips of the old Rogers tales because I missed it a lot. Then we actually got into a, a relevant one, more 
relevant to Michael and the Michael series. Michael is in the world that's gone insane. Where I do like different shots of like Michael's insanity. There was the upside down part. Monsters everywhere. His old friends coming to haunt him. Blood and stuff. Image of God. Everything burning and sea of snakes and yeah, that one didn't really have it. The images just fit some. Um, it didn't have any deeper meaning to it. Same with I thought I had it all with Rogers the. Music video, that one was another tribute to Yagan Rogers. I really miss Rogers. This point, it should be very clear when there's the Rogers burning memory and that one. So, two tributes to like Rogers in a row. Um, but, um, then we have, um, but that one's like, yeah, again, pieces of the past, but also Michael being in the detective agency. Then there's, uh, Michael only knows one thing for, is for real, which is the Mel Gear Rising one. Uh, that one was fun. But yeah, again, just mainly images that correlate to what's being said in the song and epic fighting and all that. Oh yeah, and there was a blooper where a dragon just decided to fly. Um... Sarah, Sarah, oh, I can't speak this one. Sang Karen Tango. There we are. Got it. I got it. Okay. This one was, uh, you know, um, very much, um, uh, had, a. Uh, uh, very interesting, but I had a reference to, uh, the It's a Raw, um, I'm the Raw of Everything video, music video, where it says, No Wife Found Again, which is a reference back. It's so funny to have, like, little references that, um, if you're dedicated enough, you'll notice the references, but, uh, yeah, that was my own personal Easter egg to, like, that video, but, um, Um, I also like the part where there's like a bunch of heroes and stuff from different video games. And I like how I put in Luigi instead of Mario because Luigi already had importance in Michael's series. Thank you, Jonathan. But, um, yeah, um. Johnny Yakuza, um, yeah, that one actually had cool stuff to it. Then I have the really dumb random one, which is Sono Gina Sarame, but it's just me saying Jojo a bunch, which, um, 
That's the dumbest thing I've probably ever done. So, yeah. So why does Arena have, like, brown hair in the, <laughs> the opening when she actually has, like, yellow hair? It's like a brown blonde, but still... It's... It looks more brown than blonde at times during the opening. I mean, some of the shots look more blondy brown. Either way, that one was just a dumb video I did. Then, Boop Boop is not in control. This one had some actual deeper stuff to it, like... Um... Is there darkness within Boop Boop? Like... Like, is there something within Boop Boop? Like... That's the question, one that may be answered in time and also has a, the living darkness creature again from uh, other stuff I've done. Then there's the You'll Be Back Hamilton parody, the first one I did, where I'm the anomalous void broken up but it's starting to reform which uh, would be a uh, a thing um, will be a thing depends on when this video comes out it may or may not have already happened I'll spoil that later once we get to the later video that also has the enormous void but um yeah, so if you don't want spoilers, uh, that'll be later. The spoilers will be later, so you don't need to click off now if you don't want spoilers, because, yeah, again, it'll be later. Anyway, um, moving on to Michael Anderson. His name is Michael Anderson. And there's a million things I haven't done, but just you wait. Just you wait. See, I have confidence to do it now. Sing it now while I'm just doing a podcast. But I had a really hard time doing that one. Like, like one day I'll have to redo it. Resing it my uh, song when I have even more confidence that that show like I have definitely gotten more confidence since I've started but I don't have enough confidence in singing things yet so um yeah like you you'll be back was a lot but I, like I, I actually did play around with you'll be back like I had those parts where like it was more evil like you're you're my favorite subject like more of an evil time like my sweet submissive subject my loyal royal subject yeah I, like that, going more into evil tones. Like, I was actually able to do stuff with that since it was a lot easier, the, so the song, and I didn't have to rewrite as much. But, um, yeah, the Michael Anderson, this one's going to be a long time of talking about it, um, So, the Hamilton parody, the true Hamilton parody. So, it starts off with just Michael standing around, then his mother and father, the Scarlet Queen, and 
Um, uh, Gray Anderson. Don't know why I hesitate for a second. But then it flashes back to one of the old episodes. Michael's Origin Part 1. Where it's like him as apartment. And then it's like hero and enigma. And like the new... F uh, let, let's have a little bit of it. In. New foundation without a father God. Yeah, and Gray's goddamn dead. And then there's just a random MTF guard from the Nine Tail Fox. Also, good chance to bring back the classic Michael model since I don't use it anymore because it doesn't have C hands. Then there's another flashback to uh, um, the Origins video part one. Was it part two that showed the underground part? It might have been part two actually. Either way, um, then there's the Foundation Army with the Administrator among it. And like the waves going past, then a cut to like him at computer screens, which wasn't actually in the same map. As, um, um, the origins video just because I needed a scene where I looked at the monitors but the old map seems to be gone that I used for the origins video so yeah that kind of sucks then Michael saying please stealing something borrow a barter um then the Plague Doctor came, which is also part one. Flashback to part one. Where Michael defeated the Plague Doctor. And then uh, the Foundation saying, this kid's insane. Yeah, again, a flashback to part one. And then just more MTF singing and Michael singing. Then a flashback to Michael's new home thing. Um, then flashback to um, the flight training, which was a very old episode. And a flashback to the Site 42 episode where he was with his old commander. Then MTF singing again, where it says there's something inside your voice trying to help you, which is the first time Vertigo shows up in their supposedly true form, the true human form, I suppose. Not their true alien form, as Richard described it. Then Michael going at the shelf, more MTF singing. There's the MTF again. And 117, not 117, uh, that's the Master Chief, uh, 173, Billy and d -cars being contained. Then Michael standing on top the foundation. More MTF singing. The world. This is a cool Gmod world that I used for the world. Spinning around. It was like an actual world. The only thing is the perspective was quite odd. To get the shot looking um, correct. And then like a show of the foundation, show of big city, that's, that's kind of a point place. Then Mike was at the site, see if you can spawn, which I had him hidden down the near the bottom. 
Speaking up of coming up from the bottom, another man coming up from the bottom <laughs> line that immediately follows after. Then, like, the enemy scene where it shows, like, the Scott Queen, the Living Darkness, and the Administrator, enemies of Michael, and then there's a Foundation Quarters, and there's. Sh Shots of allies, just generic guys, then the commander, then Mikel, then Jimmy, then the Living Darkness, which also was in G not Gmod, I'm not Gmod, VR chat, um, then Michael singing, brief cut to the MTF guy back to Michael to end it off and Michael does like the Hamilton pose like right at the end but with his gun point uh, I am currently doing um the our podcast my series and talk about my YouTube Um, so yeah, also, uh, thing for future on YouTube, um, I'll sometimes be responding to the Twitch comments if I do see them, so for YouTube, when I release this later, um, uh, consider going to YouTube because you might just be in on uh, the our podcast that's if I see it sometimes I get too caught up in my own mind talking about things but I'm passionate you know passion for my characters and all that anyway spying the liar one which is where uh, spoilers will be at the end of me explaining this one, as I mentioned earlier, there would be spoilers, so spoilers will be at the end of me explaining this. But it's like the anomalous void has reformed more, the slow, like, camera going towards the anomalous void, which I used Minos Prime from Ultra Kill. I need to get Ultra Kill one day. Um, then there's Michael just singing in the background. Sing, well not sing, but then I use the shot of the world again. Second time using the world. What countries do I have in that one? Because that's south. Do I have the same things? in the videos. I think I did. I did. But the shot is like slightly different. But there's like Australian stuff. <laughs> That's a poor frame the pause on. The fire frame. <laughs> Where the world is burning. <laughs> Which Australia, you know, has uh, bad forest fires, especially back in, you know, 2020. Luckily, I avoid them. The main thing I have to worry about is flooding, which is kind of worse. That, that ruins electronics. Luckily, um, I'm in a place that doesn't really flood. So, yeah. Anyway, there's Mike on the background. The wealth of, I guess, the anomalous void. Which, like, is definitely pretty wealthy. Then just looking at Michael's face. The stare-off between Michael and, uh, 
Damn all, oh, that's why I didn't mean to click into Gmod. Knock knock. Who's that? <laughs> but, um, then, uh, the fly to the camera because it's like, through the camera lens we extend. Oh uh, yeah, and I like the, the Minos Prime animation was perfect for that. Perfect for the song. Absolutely perfect. And when it's like, um, what's the line again? Uh, I, I'll unmute it for myself. The credits are more than just the end. Yeah, the credits are more than just the end. Where I slipped in my name as a obvious funny joke. <laughs> then the Mars scene where it has like uh, Majora's Mars from Zelda, a Predator Mars, funny that I played Aliens vs. Predator, um, the like, uh, I forget, the, the anonymous Mars which uh, fits to a character of um, the, the guy that I used um, from the Illuminati arc, so it's kind of a reference back to that. Then there's like a golden payday like mask. Then there's just Dallas's mask. Obviously, both of those payday references. Seeing that Michael has a lot of involvement with the payday gang. Then the Squid Game mask. Uh, the 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 guy's mask, the leader's mask, not just. My the radio mask, and there's Gordon Freeman, but it's also a spy mask, so it's referencing not just TF2, but Half-Life, and then there's FNAF, because, of course, I had to do FNAF. And the down to a wire, I used, like, a wire mod thing that I just found, but yeah. The Anomalous Void, who's more reformed, would be singing the ambit. Alright, time for... Time for spoiler. Spoiler bit. Spoilers for... Because it may or may not be out by the time this video comes out. But, um... The Anomalous Void and Michael Fights and... Yeah. So, um... Yeah, it was all like a build up to them fighting once again. Fighting him once wasn't enough, had to fight him twice. And somewhat more spoilers, eventually I'll do a, a Sif, uh, Sifius Prime, uh, no, 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 um. Um, uh, Sisyphus, yeah, that's how you say it. Sisyphus Prime. I'll make that like the brother of him. Anyway, final one that I've got to explain. But I do have like two or three more music ideas I want to make in the future I just haven't made them so I may explain them in a future podcast episode but not during this episode since I haven't made them yet but by the time this video is out I may have made them but they may not be out but um I expect you to die parody one where it's the Scarlet Queen, Michael's mother, as the one singing it. Michael driving, which rarely I do driving stuff in Michael, so it's interesting to have like a driving scene. Then Michael with the Book of Lies. 
Dre Anderson dead again. Dre Anderson doesn't have it easy. I keep killing him. <laughs> and then, like, the gravestones. Shot of the Scarlet Queen with the thing that I used for the Scarlet King, but that would also technically be the Scarlet Queen. Yeah, again, another face off. It's time for the face off. Yeah, again, Virgo. Uh, being the voice in Michael's ear. Michael on the chessboard, which I'm probably going to use that same word again for another thing. Then the scene where it's like lasers and swords and sharks and um, a drill from the sky. Yeah, again, back to graves, back to Scarlet Queen, back to Face Off. And finally, the end, where it's just one big fight. And yeah, that's, uh, yeah, so some of them are alluding to things or like, yeah. So I put depth and Easter eggs into them, so and who knows, I could have missed some. So, yeah, um, uh, you'll have to watch them yourself if you really want to fully understand them and they're pretty good videos. Even the Michael Anderson one, which, despite, like, my sing probably wasn't the best, I'll gain more confidence to do that sort of thing in time, so... Yeah, eventually, that's definitely a video I would remaster at some point in the future. But, um, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so those are the music videos. Anything else? Uh, no. So, yeah, that's a video on my YouTube. Oh yeah, not to mention the insane schedule, which, yeah, again, I really, really still need to do a video where I show what I call the insanity hole on my insane schedule. But, um, that is it for this episode of the Arrow Podcast. So yeah. That was my YouTube. Mainly on those music videos. But still I explained, you know, my name, the Orange Puppet. How I like the image. But yeah, I explained that was from Gmod. I guess I didn't say who inspired it. It was because of my friend Detective Blue and like yeah I think his like he, he, he's like a fan of Super Perry but Mario I've never played them so yeah but through him like it also led to like um like, um, I think it was Peep who had the, uh, Dimentia avatar, thanks to probably Blue, um, and that would make me like Dimentia more and more until 
eventually became my profile image. Um, and I like the music for Dimentio as well. But, um, yeah, and also, like, my banner, my YouTube banner, and, yeah. And, like, the image that's in the corner of this video, technically my Twitch profile image. Probably never will talk about my Twitch, really, since there's not a lot to say. Name's the same. Already explained the avatar of my Twitch. A lot to say about my Twitch, especially since every seven days, videos, well, streams disappear. A lot less to say about it. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Also, one last thing to mention is the anniversary of my YouTube, which is April the 8th. I guess that's another important thing. But otherwise, other than that, nothing else. So, yeah, this is finally the end of this episode of the Owl Podcast, and yeah, thank you all for watching, until next time, peace.